May I now request our board member, Shri Kartika Bhai Sarabhai, to address the catering. Graduating students, deans, faculty, staff members, our chief guest for the day, Mr. Bartho, members of um, the council and the board, parents, family members, guests, ladies and gentlemen. It's, it's quite moving for me to be here, having witnessed in many ways the history of this institute. I can't but say about how Bibi Doshi, Rasubai Vakil, Bernard Kohn, Hasmung Patel, Sukumar Parikh, and several others uh, have contributed to the very, very foundation that we have built on. The Ahmedabad Education Society, with its really foresight of having a, an educational, educational part of the city, uh, Kasturbai's leadership, Shrenik Bhai, and today, um, Sanjay Bhai, who we miss, uh, today has have, have endeavored to really have excellence available in Ahmedabad. I have the good fortune, when I was putting this list together, of realizing that I've worked with almost all of them. And that, that made me feel the sense of, sense of history as we, as we go forward. We are living in an extremely rapidly changing world. I was just thinking that when, when um, this institute was formed in 62, when, when the School of Architecture was formed, the population of the planet was 3 billion. It had taken 123 years to go from 2 billion to 3 billion. So that was a time, and it had taken millions of years before that to reach that first billion. And today, in just the time it has taken to have this institute, we are at 7.6 billion. So just, just look at the condensation of time where, where you, were, you were talking about 100 years, 150 years before you reached a billion, and now in a matter from 1960 to now, you've not only done this, but you've doubled. And urbanization has been even faster. You had, in 1960, we had roughly a third of the population, one billion, who were urban. Today, it is about 55% of four billion people. So, so just think that the amount of urban people today is more than the total population of the whole planet when this institute was formed. And it is that type of time frame in which we have, to, we have to plan, we have to live, and you have to accept the challenges. But while we say that, the population is only one side of this thing. The consumption levels have grown up even faster. Uh, today, we were, there's a calculation made as to what would happen if all of us could somehow get a lifestyle like the US. And the calculation is that you would read roughly four planets to be able to live that way. So you as students going out into the world today as planners have a very different mandate, very different challenge uh, before you, which is that you cannot actually follow what's behind you. You cannot look to the West anymore and say that is where the solutions are. The solutions are somewhere which is not known. You have to innovate. And in this institute, where you have all this opportunity to innovate, and as was told by Professor Shivatsan, uh, as you go forward, learning is going to be a continuous affair. This is, of course, one milestone, but the Alumni Association may in a few years not be called Alumni, but called the Continuing Learning Association or, or Center, because things are changing very, very rapidly. Ahmedabad is proud to have been declared the UNESCO World Heritage Site. Our old city, which we all talk about, uh, is, is unique. And those who have been here during the last few weeks of Uttarayan and everything else and gone into it have seen how unique it is. It's a blend of several architectural styles, even the Hindu and the Muslim styles that they came together here. Even the new architects who came from abroad 
uh, Louis Kahn and various others have adapted methodology and techniques of brick, for instance, in doing their arches uh, in, 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 in Ahmedabad. But at that same time, I was asking, I asked sometimes friends of mine from the School of Architecture, how much of that old city which we so proudly talk about in the world can you build with the present uh, bylaws? And they say, of course, we cannot do that. Most of those things are not part of our, our learning. And so you wonder, how is it that you, you, on the one hand, glorify an old city for its concepts, and at the same time, you, you develop laws in, under which you cannot actually build anything vaguely like that? And, and, and it's not only those, but even the laws relating to universities, like ourselves. There's been a great thrust among the board of management of this institute to take this institute to the best in the world. Not just best in India, but the best in the world. We have the faculty, we have the ideas, we have the campus, but we don't necessarily have the permissions to be able to do all that we like. And it's those regulatory frameworks, whether it's regulating, regulations related to planning, architecture, or running a school of architecture, is something which we must look at. Because some of these things have come from history, they've come from Britain, they've come from other places, which had a very different, different uh, problem in front of them. And they've come at an age when the population and consumption levels are totally different. So today the challenge, before all of you students, is to look at ways in which water will have. Is, is an architecture student a student of architecture, or are they also students of transport? Are they also students of energy? Are they also students of water? Are they also students of, energy, of, of heritage, of, of uh, greenery and plantation? Are these disciplines, uh, are, are how, how valid are the disciplines, and how much do we need to learn from each other? And this is a campus where you have the opportunity of, of going and, and meeting with each other. So it's, it is this challenge uh, which, which I hope all of you will go. Uh, I've tried to calculate at one stage that each student who graduates will end up putting how many bags of cement, bricks, and uh, steel on this planet. And it's a, it's a lot. If you were to think of a person going on a plane and dropping all of this on the planet, this is what you are in fact going to do. So how you lay each brick, please be careful. This world needs to be sustainable. We have the opportunity, and just as we have a challenge, we have an opportunity. And you're coming out from one of the best schools uh, there is. Uh, you've been given the inputs. You've got an invitation for permanently coming back to the institute. And I wish you really well from on behalf of myself and the Board of Governors and the Governing Council. Do well in the world. Make it more sustainable. And let us learn from you. Come back and teach new students as they come up because the challenge before us is very different from what our past has been. Thank you very much.